I was interviewed on another podcast. And during that discussion, I talked about getting 30 year money on apartment buildings. I'm talking mm. five units and above. Yeah. And the interview interviewer didn't believe me. So I had to go into the detailed explanation, Mr. Stephen Dow, and share all the goodness that is Velocity Mortgage. Before we get into the story and remind people that, yes, you too can do this, uh, please do the marketing thing. Thank you so much again. Although I work very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel are that of my own. So let's get it going. So let's kind of bring the full story uh, around. So Velocity Mortgage is a publicly traded company. Yes, sir. Uh, is it fair to say that you play in the non-QM, non-qualified mortgage space? Is that reasonable, uh, the category? It's definitely reasonable. It's uh, it's not only that particular space because it's almost a little bit even more, I think, accommodating to, to, to some degree than, than, you know, your regular non-QM kind of DSCR or, you know, kind of type right. program, bank statement, something like that. Whereas even on commercial multifamily, it's no ratio up to a certain loan amount and below. Right. So, um, again, I would say that definitely within that space, but then maybe even beyond that. Uh, so definitely that, that would be a good starting point. Yeah. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up is a lot of people are so conditioned to only look at Fannie Freddie, right? Conventional lending, uh, right. which in the, which in the multifamily space typically is three, five, seven, or 10 year fixed. There are some right. 30 year am on big institutional grade stuff, but right. generally people like me, we're not getting a taste of that stuff. So I shared the story uh, on this other podcast, uh, gave them, you know, pr props to you and Velocity Mortgage. Uh, <laughs> but you guys do 30 year fixed rate financing on investment properties, whether that's a fourplex, a 20 unit, a 50 unit, a hundred unit. Um, right. That's just the product you offer 30 year fixed. And oh, by the way, if you want to get nutty with it, you could do 10 years IO uh, and then, you know, make it up over the last 20 years. There's, there's so many things that Velocity offers. We, People need to realize that, yeah, you too can get 30-year fixed rate financing. Oh, no, agreed. Um, and with a, a little less, um, I guess, friction, for lack of a better word, a lot of times with commercial financing tends to be a little bit more condition you know, intensive. So the ease of use of the, our product, I think, has been very well received. Uh, again, not looking for the or requesting or requiring the normal personal income documentation, no tax returns, pay stubs, or W-2s. Um, in some cases, rents would uh, you know, matter as far as uh, making sure that it cash flows from a certain standpoint, but only above a certain loan amount. So if you're playing in the lower price ranges, uh, 500,000 and, and under, it's literally just a minimum 650 FICO and the appraised value to come in to support your, you know, your purchase price or value needed and everything Yeah, else so let's, can... let's talk about a bigger deal. Let's talk about a 50 unit building. Okay. Uh, it's 100K a door, so that's 5 million bucks if I've done my math right. Okay. Um, you know, so, so let's talk loan products. So if, if I'm coming in and I'm just coming to Velocity for the first, what kind of loan product are, are we looking at roughly? Ask me questions if you want, because you probably need to know more than what I just <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, no, you, you kind of helped to outline the sp uh, specifics as far as at least the property type, because rates, guidelines, fees are all predicated on the property type. So in this case, mixed use multifamily are all in a particular category. So for that type of property type, we're usually max at 75% LTV. Uh, unless the uh, the loan amount is above a million dollars, which it is in this case, then we would uh, we would be capped at seventy. Otherwise, okay. just the minimum six hundred and fifty FICO score, mid FICO score, and and yeah, in the, this the case, reason it, that's important is because again, uh, having done deals in this space with what I'll call just regular banks, they're probably in this environment going to require thirty five or forty percent down, right? So your your down payment in this case is a little bit less, um, uh, but. I, I haven't done a, a, a recently, a, you know, kind of like apples apples comparison, but sure. I would imagine, yeah, there's going to be a little bit more, um, I think, tightening of guidelines, I think, just in sure. this environment, just because of the space, you know, commercial properties, uh, especially certain ones, office, you know, oh, yeah. um, larger apartment building, they're, they're taking kind of a big hit in certain markets. And so I, I would imagine there's going to be some of that, but I, I couldn't guarantee or verify that. So um, yeah, that's okay. But that makes sense, at least with and ours. Then, uh, go ahead. Yeah. The other thing I want to talk about this 50 unit building at 5 million bucks. So that's again, just straight up purchase, right? 30, 35% down, very standard. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. again, Velocity Mortgage offers that 90% CLTV. Yes. So it is possible to come in with, you know, only 10% down. down, right? You're, yes. you're, you could do 50% Velocity, 40% seller carry. 
and right. only have to bring in 10 percent. and oh by the right. way you mash together a blend and get a blended interest rate you know below six maybe below five right that that pencils that pencil's pretty good oh no again it, it's all about you know the numbers game so trying to structure the financing in a certain way given you know the circumstances and what's available that you could use as far as resources is you know how much the the seller's willing to carry what kind of terms he's, he's going to be doing and then from there just compare that with the monthly rents and that's pretty much the the cal you know the the calculation that you should be doing outside of that i think if everybody can see the you know benefits on both sides or, or all sides i think that's where it's a win-win yeah. but it's just doing the homework but it, it's out there for sure yeah, in a market where it's really slowing down, again, I'm we are seeing folks like Blackstone, KKR, call the bottom in Class A. Uh, I still think there's plenty of pain in Class B and Class C, but that pain won't last forever. It's got a year, maybe two years. Uh, it's the time to get creative, make phone calls, follow up people. Money is in the follow up. Uh, you've got to be able to articulate the power of the 90% CLTV, talk about taxes, talk about income, talk about right. secured position, right? All those things. You got to be able to tell the story. You got to be a trusted borrower. The seller's got to like you. They're not going to lend you 40% if you're a dirt bag. I mean, that's just <laughs> that's just common sense. Um, but if somebody wanted to reach out to you and poke at this 90% CLTV or get 30-year money on apartments, how would they do that? That again is uh, SDAO at velocitymortgage.com in the subject line. Please put the acronym O-R-A-A-T. That stands for one rental at a time, just to get past the firewall. In the body of the email, maybe a brief description of what you're looking for. Property address would be super helpful, uh, at least maybe city and state, uh, just to make sure I can lend there. Your mid FICO score also would really help. And then best phone number to reach you in typically 24, 40 hours, I'll be in touch. I apologize. This week's been super kind of hectic with the last, you know, uh, um, Last days of the month, so it just tends to be a little bit more uh, chaotic. troublesome sometimes, just putting out fires at the last minute. So apologies. Yeah. But yeah, we're, we've pretty much gotten all caught up now. I've got one other person to call, Taylor, if you're watching. I'll be uh, calling you shortly. Other than that, uh, yeah, there you go. looking forward to the next next uh, yeah. In, um, inquiry. Yeah, and August 1st, is we've just started selling tickets to the ORAD event. So uh, people can count on you being there in Vegas uh, February 15th and 16th. February 15th and 16th. Let's see here. Yes. I mean, again, um, President's Day always fun to just... see everybody because it's so like yeah. yeah, 15th, 16th. Yeah, we can do that. Awesome. We'll see you in Vegas, man. Thanks again. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you. <laughs>